Well, hello, American Study students. This is Mrs. Smithfield going over your LibGuide with you. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you actually want to get to our LibGuide website. And uh, you should know the address by now, but in case you have forgotten, it is humefoghs.libguides.com. So go ahead and get there, and then we'll go on to the next part. Okay, so now you are all there, and the next thing that we want to do is we actually want to click on our LibGuide. You notice it is a featured guide right here, number 10. That number might change. And you see here your LibGuide, um, and on your LibGuide is a description of your project, and more documents will likely be added, so just be aware of that. Um, I have some examples of some of the books. I couldn't put all of them because we have like 30 of them. But it's really cool. We have, uh, these are more modern books, but we actually have quite a lot of books that are from that time period. So it's pretty cool. Um, there's a great video here from the History Channel. It's just a couple minutes. If you really feel like you have no background, it's a really good one to watch because it's going to give you uh, kind of like a synopsis of what's going on. Now, I'm going to be spending a lot of time talking about this information right here um, because these are our really helpful databases and they're awesome. Most of them come with the citation. I'm also going to be showing you how to use Google Books and Google News, and I'm going to try to do that in the time I have on this video. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about are the first three sources. And these first three sources are especially Britannica and Grolier, are pretty much encyclopedias. And encyclopedias, as you know, give very broad information. So if I really know nothing about the Vietnam War, this is a great place to start just to give me some information. So uh, I might try Grolier. I might type in the Vietnam War. I just want basic information. When did it happen? Uh, kind of what were the some of the things going on when it started? How did it end? Some information on that. Very basic. You're looking for typical encyclopedia article, 10 paragraphs, maybe 12. Very basic information. Okay, now one of these we haven't used a lot so far this year is Tell. So I want to show you about Tell. Um, so if you click on that, and if you have, uh, it should come up automatically, but if you ever need any of our usernames and passwords, you can click here and it's going to bring up our awesome uh, website with all our uh, usernames and passwords. So I already have Tell open, so I want to talk to you about it. Um, so this is Tell and I can search um, certainly for, you know, a variety of different uh, databases here. And you, we can see here that there is quite a lot here that I can search. So I can use an advanced search to do that. Um, whoops. Okay, so it's going to ask me to validate myself. Uh, but, you, you know, it will validate you automatically. Um, but one I really like to use is the Points of View Reference Center. So I'm going to validate uh, myself here, um, and then I will go from there. So now I've clicked on Points of View Reference Center and I signed in and I'm looking for, you know, once again, I'm still kind of in my basic stage. So I'm looking at information on the Vietnam War. Um, so um, I want to show you in Points of View Reference Center that it really gives you quite a lot of information. So what's cool about Points of View Reference Center is um, it is as a point of view, but it does provide you with an overview. And, you know, so here they're discussing should, uh, you know, should we have entered Vietnam, yes or no. Um, but it does give you that nice overview. Um, what I really like about it is that it has here um, good links to these periodicals. And you see there's quite a lot of them. Um, and newspapers and even books. Uh, and I love the videos here. So these um, these are really cool. Um, this is from the Video Encyclopedia of the 20th Century. And uh, so some of these videos are pretty old. 
um, you know, but they're really pretty cool. So you can um, you you can watch these videos, and um, it's kind of neat here. So to watch that and to use that as part of your research. Um, so you see I have one starting right here so I really recommend that you do that and as you pick a more specific topic you can you know go, uh, go on from there so if I'm talking about women then you know I have my Vietnam War so let's you know let's do that so now you notice that my that instead of having 1800 I have uh, just 23 you know, so uh, anyway, and I've it's already uh, I've set it up to for a full text, so it's giving me full text article. So very very cool. Um, anyway, so I highly recommend that that is becomes one of your main sources. I think you're gonna you're gonna really like that. Um, so once we have our basic information here, which we can get from Groyer and Britannica, and to a certain extent, Tell, although when we get to Tell, we're going a little bit more in depth, then we're going to our more specific databases. And so, um, you know, really and truly on these, each one we're going to be trying out. So let's try out ABC Clio. And uh, I do love ABC Clio. Um, so once again, this is a really great one uh, to use as historical. So one of the ones in this situation, the ones you're probably going to be using are World at War. You might use some geography if you're ask if you're doing stuff about the topography of Vietnam. Um, uh, you might be doing some American history stuff, but I think you're going to find. A lot of information so once you have your specific topic um, then you know um, you can type that in now right now it's doing all databases but I'm gonna probably focus on world at war and um, some others and so it's gonna have uh, some it's gonna be articles but it will also have some pictures uh, so in this case it is um, that's a picture and one of the great things about these is that of course it comes with the citation which is at the end um, and uh, I just think you know I think you're gonna uh, maybe get, find some stuff here that's really helpful to you so back to this um, so we sh we looked at ABC Clio um, now SIRS decades it's kind of interesting because with SIRS decades these are primary sources and what it's a little bit harder to get around uh, in it, um, so uh, but it is possible. So I'm going to sign in. So when you sign in here, Hume and then Fog, and then you want to go to the My Products page. Yep, and then you get the decades. So the thing about, um, unfortunately. Um, the SERS decades which I love this is primary source material so that's really awesome so I can click on the 60s and hopefully it will be cooperative and then I'm going to click on the Vietnam War um, so sometimes it does that one of the disadvantages of it so it's great because it provides a lot of um, a lot of primary source material but one of the disadvantages of it is they don't come with the citations you'll have to create those on your own so if you want to be looking at letters photographs of that time period this is a really great source all right uh, it's acting a little wonky for me right now so I'm gonna go on to my next one um, and that is Salem history and I ooh, I love Salem history so let's look at that I think you're really gonna like it um, so Salem history um, cool thing about it it has a lot of different databases well it's not really databases it's ebooks so we have big reference sets and you can kind of see here what all we have and you notice we have a full set on the 60s in America we also have a full set on great events from history and we have great lives from history so we really wow we're really in good shape here so if I want to I can do a nice search here you know across you know all my information uh, so if I'm looking for Vietnam War women 
then um, it's uh, hopefully it's going to pull up some articles here. Um, and so I can look at these and say, okay, well, what's really useful here? And um, I can kind of start from the top here. Um, so, and in this general article on the Vietnam War, what I love about Salem history, of course, you can, it gives you the citation. So this is actually in the Encyclopedia of Immigration. Um, so um, is that uh, it really um, talks about, it, it does a great summary or talks about the importance of, you know, what you read. And I, I you know, I find that to be very helpful. So, um, and I might actually end up, okay, so this is from the 60s in America. So this is going to be a longer article. Um, so see here, we have that impact. Oh, I love Salem history. I think you're going to find that to be very, very handy, especially for kind of once you have your specific subject, a little bit broader information. So it's not, it's not too much. It's not too little. I, I just really like it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, uh, these are awesome websites. I feel very confident. Any of these, I've looked over them. They're great. I highly encourage you to use them. I love digital history. Um, this revisiting Vietnam is fantastic. I think you're going to use them. But I definitely want to show you how to use these things. And this is a Google book search. So if we type in Vietnam War Women... Um, it's going to pull up results. Now, what is so cool about this? So it has all these books that has this information in it. You always want to go down to view more results. Because um, what you want to do under all books, you want to click on limited preview and full view. And so now what I have is I have all these um, books, whether it's a, just a preview or in some cases, it will be the full book. And uh, you see, look, I got American women in the Vietnam War. And so I can kind of look through this and see information on it. So now this won't be the whole book, but a lot of times it'll be a chunk of it. And I will be able to get, you know, a lot of decent information from it. Um, so I really recommend that you use that. It'll, it tells you the book in the title. There's an about this book. And one cool thing, because I am super awesome, is that on your on your LibGuide under MLA citations, on the right side, uh, has how to cite a Google book. So because I rock, right? Yes, um, I'm awesome. So I put that on there for you. Now, some of these books we do have in the library, but some of them we don't. And so I think you're going to really find that to be very valuable. The other thing I want to make sure that you know about, and this is also really cool, is Google News. And I imagine you've never used it this before. Now, once again, we definitely, these are fantastic websites. It's very likely that you will not need to use this at all. You're going to get enough information from here. You're not going to need to use this. But one, what I, I'll show you Google News. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. And I bet y'all didn't even know it existed. Google News is awesome. So let's say I type in Vietnam War uh, women because I'm that's what I'm researching here. And of course, the more specific you are, um, the uh, more uh, information you can pull up. So what's really cool about this is that um, I can search uh, a custom range. So I can go back and I can, so I'm finding, you know, but I can, I can customize and say, ooh, I want to find out what were people saying in the 60s, you know, so I can, I can do that, you know, I can say, okay, well, uh, you know, what were they saying way back when, you know, so I can, I can do that, uh, so, you know, so I can do that, and, um, you know, like I said, I can, I can really narrow my results down, and so that's really, that's a really helpful thing to be able to do if you want to find out what, what was going on at that time period. So here you go. Here you go. So you can, uh, whoops, I forgot to change the year. But anyway, um, so you, but you, it's pulling up these, these documents. And I just, yeah, it's very, very cool. They have big archives and 
you can uh so you can really get a lot of information like that and they're they're pretty scholarly you know uh research uh, resources you still have to check them but i think you're going to like those so um and that leaves us with um